Hello, I just want to give you a quick overview of um, what an e-commerce plugin for WordPress is. If, if you don't know what an e-commerce plugin is, um, that, that's basically what I'm going to show you. Right, so what we're going to install and use is this WooCommerce. There are loads of e-commerce plugins, but WooCommerce is well respected. Um, <clears throat> pardon me and uh, so that's what we're going to use so I've actually downloaded the plugin but I have not activated it yet so we have a look in our plugins we've got WooCommerce there if you've not already got it just click the add new button and add a new add the plugin so I'll activate the plugin <coughs> pardon me <coughs> excuse me right now when we activate the plugin it asks us if we want to install WooCommerce pages and um, yes we do so let's click the button now, these tabs at the top, we can do a lot of different settings here. Most of them, or quite a few of them, have got good settings to start with, and we don't really need to change that much. So, one that we do need to change is tax. So let's click the tax tab. Right. So, when you want to add a new tax rate, there's this button here that says add tax rate. So we'll click that, and now there's an edit button here. So we'll click the edit button, and that lets us choose countries to put in here. So I live in the UK, so let's have United Kingdom, uh, and we're going to have VAT rate, and that's 20%. And that's all we need to do, then we just click Save Changes, you can add as many countries as you want here in this edit box. Um, you, you can add li loads depending on which countries you want to deal with. Anyway, we'll click the save changes. So let's move on to shipping. So we'll click the shipping tab. Now we've got different types of shipping. We've got free shipping, local delivery, local pickup, international delivery. And you can actually, if you have a look over here, uh, we'll just go to you can buy plugins that allow you to um, to use other types of shipping so there's, there's loads of extra add-ons you can get for WooCommerce anyway what we're going to add is um, a flat rate shipping so where it says enable disable we're going to enable this so enable flat rate shipping and we'll have a price so they're they're up there. Uh, example, I've got two fifty. So we use two fifty. Why not? It's only an example. Right now, where it says shipping options, you can have things like priority mail, um, or gift wrap, whatever you want. So where it says shipping options, we'll put priority mail. Then we we'll put a pipe character. Then we put the price, we'll have a five pounds, eh? And then we'll another pipe character, and then just type yes. And we're gonna have another option of gift wrap. And then the pipe character, and that one costs seven pounds for gift wrap. And then the pipe character again, and then yes the pipe character is in the bottom left hand corner of your key keyboard it's just a vertical up and down line on a, a uk keyboard it's it's near the shift key in the bottom left hand corner of your keyboard right so now we've got two lots of shipping options and the basic price so let's save our changes and move on to the next one and make sure you click this one that says enable or disable so enable the shipping method if you don't enable it, then you won't be able to use it. Anyway, we've done that, and we've clicked Save Changes, and now we're going to move on to Payment Gateways. Now, Payment Gateways, once again, it's uh, you can get a lot of WooCommerce um, extra payment gateways. So you might want to um, add all these different, uh, like Amazon Payments or whatever. So we're just going to add a PayPal one and all you need to do click the PayPal top tab there 
um, and put in your PayPal details. Then click Save Changes. We're not going to actually add PayPal. So next we want emails. Now the emails bit, you don't really need to change much. This is just um, when the WooCommerce, when somebody buys from WooCommerce, that the, the shopping cart will send them an email and you can just change the email address it, uh, it's from here. Uh, you can also add a logo if you want to put in there. You can uh, upload a logo to be the top of your um, top of the email that you send. Right, or if you want to, you can change these colours, which is the. I'll just show you what the email looks like. This is basically what the email will look like when it arrives. So that's that one done. Integration. That is uh, there's Google Analytics and I don't know if you know what share buttons are um, it makes it easy for people to add uh, add your or tell the friends on Facebook or LinkedIn or wherever about your shop so you might want to add the, uh, the these share buttons and it's, it's easy to do you'll need to share this ID if you're going to use share this uh, if you want to do share daddy it's part of Jetpack plugin. You'll have to install Jetpack plugin to be able to use that one. And Google Analytics, all you do is just type your Google code in there. Right, now what we're going to do is add a product. So go to Products, Add Product. And it's very similar to making any other web page. So we'll type a name in there and we're going to sell a phone. Um, So we want to put some text in here, so we'll just get a bit of placeholder text. Should have opened that up before, shouldn't I? There we go. All we want is some placeholder text. Right. So just paste some word in there. Pretend that's a really interesting description we've written about our uh, our telephone that we're going to sell. Now, we want to add a picture, but we're going to add it as a featured image. So click the button that says Set Featured Image. Then select it from your computer. And we're going to have this one here. Click Open. Then you can change things like the, uh, the title, alt text, a description if you want to. Um, and we use, but click the button here, the, the link that says save as, use as featured image. Then it says saving, then it says done, then it disappears, and we can close the box. Right, now what we're going to do is add, a, add to this product, we're going to be able to buy it in a red, blue, or green. So if, if it was only one colour, we could leave that as simple product, just fill this box in here. And then click the uh, the save button up here, the publish button. But we're going to have we're going to be able to choose from three different colours. So we're not going to have a simple product. We're going to have a variable product. Right now, uh, we'll put in here the weight because they're all the same weight. One point four kilos. Dimensions is two 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 and eleven centimeters right this way it says featured image if you want to some some themes we're not using a, a woo theme we're just using the 2011 wordpress theme uh, but if you're using one of woocart theme Wo woocart uh, woocommerce <laughs> uh, themes and you add it as a featured image it will appear in a prominent place on your page right so where did we get to oh, we've done that so what we want to do now is add some attributes so we've got to click click the attributes tab and then click add and we're going to call this color and we need to add some colors so we add red then a pipe character green then a pipe character 
character and then blue. All right, so now what we've got to do before we can do anything else is save the page. So we've, we've set the general tab, we've set the attributes tab, then we must save the page or publish the page um, or at least save it as a draft before we can move on to the next step. And the next step is adding variations. So if we click the variations tab, then we click add variation. And then um, what we're going to do Set a price of eleven pounds. Now then, I'll just I've missed something on the previous one, so let's go back. That one color, we're okay there. General, we're okay there. Let's have a look. Ah, there we did. I forgot to tick this box. You've got to tick both boxes there on the attributes tab. You've got to click both boxes got to do with that so oh, we'll save that make sure we've saved it and then we can go back here add our variations so we'll click add a variation so we'll click the variations tab then click add variation the price is going to be 11 pounds for that one and then where it says here there's a little drop down box we can choose the colors now what I'll do I'll change that to 14 because there's already one up here that we did on the last one right so set that to 14 and then we'll choose that as the green one the first one is 11 pounds set the color to red so we've got red we've got green and now let's add another variation and this is going to be 16 pound so now we add the color which is blue so we've got red green and blue what you've got to do when you're doing this put the price in and the details and then choose the color because after you've chosen the color or the, this attribute here um, this box closes and it gets a bit confusing sometimes so let's save that If we go back to that box the the dimensions have been put in now when you do it originally it just say not 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 there but after you've saved it it will automatically be filled in so to whatever you did on the uh, on the general tab it'll take it from the general tab and put it in here right so that's that set up let's have a look at our page and um, see if it's worked see if I've forgotten to tell you anything so let's view our product right here we are now it says from 11 pounds but we can choose an option so there's no price here yet and we're going to choose a green one and the green one's 14 pounds the blue one will be 16 pounds so we'll add it to our cart and then we can view the cart and then we can proceed to the checkout or oh, we can choose we set some shipping options if you remember oh it's added the VAT for us so we know it's the VAT is on um, we set some ch shipping options so if we added say gift wrap it'll change the price if we have free shipping it'll take away the price so let's let's choose that then we'll proceed to checkout and here we go so I've got to type our details in there. I just haven't got time because we're nearly running out of time. But all you do is type your details in and place your order. And that's basically how it works. Now, I've made a web page to go with this um, tutorial. Let's see if I can find the actual page. Anyway, it's on this it's on this website. I'm going to put a link underneath the video, this video, to this website called pressuser.com. And I'll put a link to the actual web page that goes with this video we've just been watching. Well, thanks for watching. I do hope you like WordPress and I do hope you um, give, give WooCommerce a try if, if you want a commerce um, plugin.
and I would I highly recommend getting a a woo com oh, well a woo themes theme to go with it because it does make a big difference. Thanks for watching. Bye.